I feel like when people think of spirituality, we think of spirituality as something outside of ourselves, as something as separate, as something we're going to find in the next book, documentary, show, podcast, person, healing session, tarot reader, psychic, right? We, we picture it as something so far. And in retrospect, our spirituality is our connection to ourself and to nature. And our spirituality is embedded in our breath. But at the end of the day, I believe that everyone has their own soul compass and everyone has their own ancestry, uh, essentially. And I believe it is those forces of the unseen beings that play through us in our lives and that help us further kind of integrate what our own spirituality means for us. And that's why I say be your own healer, be your own guru, be your own leader, be your own, be your own whatever, be your own everything. Do it yourself. I am a daughter of the African diaspora. I'm born in Dallas, Texas. Moved to New York um, and was introduced to the practice of Lukumi, which is coming out of Cuba. Um, it is a African practice brought to the Americas by enslaved Africans who were hostage in Cuba. <laughs> The difference between, um, I would say, Lukumi and Santaria is that Lukumi, it means friend in Yoruba, or means good spirit, rather. In Santaria, you're literally praying to Catholic saints, read white Catholic saints, who our ancestors who practiced the Yoruba tradition of Ifa, of Orisha worship, so that they could protect the African deities and look like they were practicing Catholicism. Over time, because of necessity and also probably pressure from colonial power, folks were either forced to be Catholic or not, or be persecuted or subjugated. And so a lot of people did um, go ahead and say, okay, these Orishas are now saints and we're practicing Santeria. It stems from the Yoruba practice of praying to, worshiping, venerating ancestors, and the Orisha, which are deities that are present in our natural environment. An Orisha is entity, a heavenly body, a deity that governs different aspects of nature, also different aspects of our bodies and different ideas, modalities, philosophical concepts. Everybody has an Orisha that basically claims them. But until you're initiated, that can change. Who that Orisha is can change based on the support you need in your life, where you are in your life, et cetera, et cetera. I made Yemonja. Yemonja is the Orisha of the ocean, different at parts of the ocean. She's the mother of all. The ocean is really her domain. I mean, just think about the ocean. I think that that really tells you my relationship. I am one little tiny piece of sand and she's so vast. Sometimes it's overwhelming, just like the ocean can be. Like if you ever just sit and watch the tide roll in and out, it has that magnetic pull, but then you're like, oh my goodness, that we don't even know what's at the bottom of this, you know? There is that respect and that awe. May I invite you to take in a deep breath with me? I invite you to place your hands on your heart. I invite you to close your eyes. And I invite you and everyone else who's there to feel their feet on the floor, feel their feet on the earth, and just take the deepest breath that you've taken in all day, inhaling in through your nose and feel your internal ecosystem. Those lungs are expanding, belly is rising, holding your breath, and exhale it out your mouth. 
and just feel how the energy shifted. And that is spirituality. What is cacao? Cacao is an ancient, um, it's the rawest, purest form of chocolate. So we all know chocolate and cacao is um, not a grain, but it is an ancient powder that comes from cocoa itself and the cocoa plant. And what it does, it is a heart activator. And there's a medicinal dosage that is recommended to have. And when you have it, the, the intention is to kind of sit in that stillness, sit with yourself, have your ceremonial dosage, whatever's comfortable. I've seen people sob their heart away, others, you know, may want to feel inspired to have some movement. There's always a meditation component involved in it and then a journaling form. I'm not here to convince anybody anything. I'm here to serve the people who are ready to call that higher soul level calling. I'm here to support the people who are breaking generational cycles. Those are my people. I'm not here to convert or convince anybody that they should live like this and look like that's not what I'm here to do and that's not my you know my MO. Everyone's had their own version of mystical experiences. Experiences with the unseen beings of different realms, whether that's the nature spirits, the extraterrestrial spirits, the spirits of all forces and all different kinds. And I think just to say that humans are the only living force, oh God, I mean how how ignorant dare I say. I think everybody should do what they want to do. As long as they're not hurting anybody else. I think that a lot of people want to be in the tradition and they should definitely investigate it. And they should definitely find if they want to. This practice is really just about respecting life and respecting how information can come to you to better you.